Welcome to Satisfactory, I'm Dan. Last time we got our coal power plant up and running, providing us 1800 megawatts of power and getting our starter base off of biomass burners. Today, we're gonna to be getting started on steel. We have a lot to do, but in the interim, I, in an effort to try to get points, I did a couple of things. First, I made some modifications to our starter base here where I added smart splitters on all of our storage containers. That way, every item coming in will either fl is set up to go straight through the center, but any overflow goes to the right, which I have a merger here running down here. So the overflow flows into this merger line, which runs all the way down here, down to a sink. Now, we're out, we are kind of limited by Mark II belts currently, so we cannot we're over we're overflowing this belt so we can't fully get all the points we possibly could from our manufacturing once we have mark three belts here soon we'll easily be able to take uh everything that we're producing here and pump it into this sink also i set up a uh, we i modified our quartz node that we did in episode four and i have set up 12 constructors over there and they're all feeding into a mark two belt which is still not enough it's designed for a mark three but it's getting us about six thousand points per minute this has given us uh, a thousand or two points per minute. Not too much, but we're getting about 7,500 or so points per minute now. And after a couple hours of running it, um, it looks like we've got like, 16 tickets. So we'll be able to get some uh, decorative stuff today. A little bit more, we're gonna keep that running. But right now we're gonna head over and we're gonna get our steel starter factory set up so we can do some more unlocks. Let's get started. This episode at least most of it our quartz little quartz factory is up there earning us points i've already ran power lines to everything so we have a power line coming from our coal factory down to our base and from our base over here and that's heading all the way up to the quartz node so we will just tap in off of this line help set our our steel factory we've got four normal coal nodes here we have a pure iron node up here we also have iron over there if we need it and iron over there, but for now, this should be more than enough. Let's get started. Okay, so I've laid a platform out for us. We're actually just gonna be doing a very simple steel factory to start with because we just need parts for unlocking additional advanced steel items and the rest of tier three and four. So we're just gonna go ahead and set up enough to make one constructor of beams and one constructor of pipes, which is about 15 beams per minute and 20 pipes. That just requires two foundries and about 90 coal and iron.
So I've come up here. I've set up an iron miner. I brought a platform up. Brought the iron ore back here. The Mark II belt comes down. Lift. I set up this little Final Fantasy VII memory. <laughs> Stairway up next to it. And I brought the ore down. It needs to be in the Mark II belt. So that goes into this splitter, which now gives us our coal and our iron. Now we just need to build the iron into there. We just do that this way. Perfect. Now we just need to make sure we're powering everything. It's going to make our steel. We still need to set up the constructors, but I want to get them started. So let's get our power going. We're going to do simple power. So we're just going to use the lifts. I mean the uh, splitters. You're just going for simple. This works. So our iron will come down there. We need to attach this over there. So we'll just bring this over to here and charge power it. So that should get our steel started. In the meantime, we will set up our two constructors. In this case though, we need 60 for the steel beams and we need 30 for the pipes. We are making 90 between these two. We split the, if we got 90, if we split it three ways, we're going to get 30, 30, and 30. So we'll send two belts over here for our 60, and the other one can just go straight. We need just a little bit more room, so I'm going to extend this platform just a little bit more. We have 30 coming out there, 60 coming out here, steel beams, steel pipes, and we'll just put those into storage containers. Now certainly we can build a larger one, get our stuff faster, but as I said, I'm going to go do some hard drive hunting while these things run, and by the time I'm back we'll have more than enough. Let's just make sure everything's running. Still waiting on the iron. Let's double check. See Daisy. Because I didn't power it. No problem. When you're building temporary stuff, you get a little less worried about the way it looks. Perfect. This will work. Iron coming down. Let's make sure everything gets going, and then I'm going to go hunting. All right. You can see we are now producing. The only snafu we hit was I forgot a Mark II belt to move from the merger to the splitter. Other than that, everything is working fine. So we're going to leave this be. I'm going to go hunt some hard drives, as I said. We're looking for a couple alternates. Preferably right now, we want the solid steel ingot alternate recipe, which gives us a much more efficient version of this setup. After that, we'd like a couple other things like encased industrial pipe or, or steel rotors or stators. We'll need those after we do the unlocks. So I'll let this uh, build up and I'll see you back. juicy items around it, I believe. So, and, and a lot of big baddies, so, and uranium, so, uh, let's get started.
the old fight. Just the Xenobasher. Let's grab the juicy goods and get out of here. See what we got for our first hard drive. Not solid steel ingot. No, we're just gonna go ahead and take that and get it out of the pot. got all we need so we'll just take 400 of these and let's take 400 of these I don't think we need to give that much and see you back at base all right we're back we brought back some steel that we got and I believe I stored everything we got on our little hunt except for this on a little hard drive hunt. We got 101 computers, 52 heavy modular frames, beautiful assortment of crap. So we're gonna do some research now, we're gonna do some unlocks, and let's see what we get. All right, one hard drive in, time to do our first unlock. What do we need to see? We're gonna do, let's do logistics marks three. Perfect, we already have everything. This, 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 there we go. We can actually now upgrade. able to get 270 points has already gone up from updating our factory all right 22 coupons we're making progress and with this going we should get another 6,000 or so once it catches up now we're gonna head back the pods about to return so we better get back so we can do our next unlock okay first one's done let's see what it is in this case, we'll just go ahead and take a seal screw. We could take either of these. It doesn't really matter in this case. And we're going to put another one in. Hopefully we'll get solid steel ingot. That said, while we're waiting, if you're wondering what I'm going to do with all of this stuff we picked up from the crash sites, well, the slugs are obvious. But actually, in tier 5 and 6, when we unlock that, to get Mark IV belts, you need 100 computers, 50 heavy modular frames, and then some plastic and something else. But you have to, you can manufacture these in tier five and six. You can actually create these now in tier four by hand, but this will allow us to pretty much get Mark IV belts almost instantly once we get some plastic or rubber, I forgot which one. So these we're gonna save. The rest of this stuff, we can we can go ahead and sync and then waiting for the next hard drive. All right, next research is done. Let's check out what it is. Iron alloy, pure copper, steel frame. We're gonna have steel, we might use it. So let's go ahead and pick that. We're gonna start another hard drive, let's see how it goes. You know, one of the things that we can do while we're waiting on the hard drive is we can actually get some decorative items. We can use some of our coupons that we've been building up. It's 24, quite a lot. Why don't we go ahead and print those out and then maybe we can go find some decorative items and then spruce up our bases. That's 24. So we'll go with that for now. Now we have a bunch of new stuff available. Do some cool. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Hello. That looks cool. Let's see. What are we doing over here? That's, that's interesting. A little bit of color. 
I don't know, just playing around. Okay, so while waiting, I just made an amazing discovery. With these tilted walls we just got, which are with here, these tilted walls, like this. You can do something really cool, really, really, really cool. The, the pillars attach to the tilted walls. How cool is that? Hard drive almost done? Almost there. We're gonna go ahead and just grab pure quartz crystal and put another one in. That's what we wanted, solid steel ingot. Now we need to actually unlock advanced steel production. We can now do that. Since we got solid steel ingots, we can do that. And then we'll finish off advanced steel production. Send that off. We'll plop another hard drive into this. We're now hoping for like encased industrial beams. And then we're gonna move on. We're gonna get back to our steel factory and start making plans for how we're gonna do it. Let's go. Okay, well, I'm. we are back at our steel factory and I'm going to explain this mess in just a second. But first we need to check our research for our hard drive that we put up in. Oh, these are all really good. This is the one we want though, in case industrial pipe, we're going for this. And now let me explain this. I came over here and was trying to come up with an idea of where I wanted to put our steel factory. I'm actually starting to plan for a bit more of our end game uh, factory. Not our complete end game factory, more of our personal pioneer end game factory. Everything that we need to actually build. In this case, we need to build a build uh, roughly about 540 steel pipes and maybe about 60 to 90 steel beams. So we need a lot of iron and we need a lot of coal. So I was trying to figure out where I wanted to do it. We can pull the extra iron we need from over here in the Northern Force is four pure nodes. We do have one iron pure node here, but we need about 780, which uh, at our current stage of the game, we'll not be able to get with just Mark three belts. So I originally started over there, but I decided I wanted to save this for later. Gr great set of resources, too, too good for this. Um, and then I thought maybe I'd come over here somewhere and we can just bring this three normal iron nodes off in that direction. I was thinking I could bring them over here and we could build here. Um, but then I was trying to come up with a plan. I tried over here, didn't like it. I was thinking about using, uh, this is update five, so I wanna use trucks instead of just a belt. But I didn't like anywhere down here where I could put it. The the pathways either up and over or around the stinky rocks over there. And then I decided, oh, well, maybe I can come up and do it up here. So I brought the foundations up here. And this is a good spot. It's a nice little plateau up here. We could bring the coal up pretty easily. We could bring the iron over here. And then I discovered this little, little tiny area, little valley back here. And I was like, oh, this would be a great chance to try out trucks. So I was like, I'll bring the coal up. And I plugged them into a truck over here and I set up a truck station near the iron nodes over there. This is just for testing purposes to see how much fuel I would need, what's the throughput. You know, it's over uh, over there somewhere, over over by the nodes over there. You can see another truck station and a little sink over there. So I was just dumping in about 270 per minute into the truck station, using a little bit of that for fueling the trucks. And I set up a little tiny tractor going back and forth He's coming up the hill right now, very slow up the hill. And it works, um, and it has zero issues with this much uh, coal, with the 270. Actually, I'm pretty sure this one station could easily handle, and it doesn't stop as it's loading. Just like, the, unlike the train stations, the coal doesn't stop when, when the truck is loading and unloading, which means that the belts never stop. I mean, our 270 can go straight in. This truck could probably very easily handle two full belts of 270, which means and probably even a third if the truck station fit it. So I think we can actually put up two truck stations feeding all 700 of either the iron or coal, and we'd be easy to transport it with just one tractor, as long as we're close. But then I thought, you know what? I actually have to get all of our finished products back to our base. So I think it'd be a better idea if we take the coal and we take it over to the iron, which is perfect because over here by the iron, we have, we're going to need some copper. We're going to need a lot of limestone. 
and over there by the coal, there's only one normal limestone node, but we have like two pures and a normal limestone node over here by the iron, as well as this one little copper node over here. We need a little bit of copper. So I started thinking it'd be way better to actually bring the coal over here and we can build our steel factory over here in the middle. So I came over here, laid down some foundations, set up the miners, not too much, and then I started just brainstorming ideas while I was uh, waiting for a chance to actually do some recording. And so this is where we are. So I played around a little bit. I've been uh, getting more coupons from the awesome sink and I've been just snagging uh, decorative pieces as I can. There's another three. See, I got still got 13 in my inventory. I got a little awesome shove up here. I picked up a couple things like windows. Um, I picked up a couple things, yeah, like, let me have this, this tab. I, yeah, I stagged the beams um, from the customizer. I went ahead and got the steel wall and the concrete wall, if I hadn't already shown that. I picked up maybe some gates or something. So I keep snagging the coupons. It's super easy. The quartz, the quartz things makes it easy. Anyways, we're gonna get started on designing this just a little bit. We can't do too much design today because I, I, it just takes a long time. I am slow when it comes to design. The YouTube, other YouTubers are really, really good when it comes to design. Me, I gotta admit, I'm a bit more of a minimalist. I do design sometimes, but it takes hours. But I had a few ideas. This is update five. We're gonna do some design. So we're going to do a little bit here, and I kind of like these. I think I needed to go five up. That's what I wanted. And I was kind of had this idea. I kind of wanted this area to be a bit of a window, ignoring this power cable running through. We'll fix that later. This little area is kind of bad for design, but I think I would want bit of a window here and I was playing around with some ideas and then I decided I wanted to do this and I got this small pillar and bring it in with the corner right there actually go from the ceiling let's set up a ceiling not sure how far back we're gonna go but I'm just gonna go ahead and lay some foundations up and start right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this pillar. I'm actually doing from the ceiling. I actually don't want it to clip into the ceiling because then you're gonna have some pillars on the... So we come down here and actually uh, two over. This would look pretty cool. And then put like Concrete walls. Another one of these, just for good measure. Open up a halfway for us here. And we actually want to do it over here as well. Notice that if I start from the bottom and I clip into the thing, you'll actually see the pillar on the top and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb in this case. So starting from the top coming down because we can hide it down here. I think this is going to look good. And I'm hoping you all will think it looks good too. No, oh, don't need that there. Default. Set these out at the bottom. Okay. There, there, there. We'll actually extend these walls. Now this is just the minor area, so 
but I figured it's this nice little corner on this cliff. It would look kind of cool. It's not going to be the main entrance to this steel factory. That's a good start. I kind of like the way it looks with the pillars. And then I was looking at some kind of like concrete buildings and stuff. And one of them had this design where it kind of sticks over the edge. So maybe we can put... this here. Now, that alone, I don't really like, but there's a thing I like to do in, with a, when I was playing with Structural Solutions in Update 4, I would, they had a nice little set of cool things, and then I kind of liked doing this. I want to change the color of that. Let's brighten that up to match the pillars. Oh, not that, not the, not the foundation. Except, no. Yeah. And just like that, we'll do it here as well. And I'm starting to feel like it's coming, coming together a little bit. That said, actually, when it comes to the. Uh, there's one cool thing I see with concrete buildings is kind of some walkways. And one thing I kind of like to do is normally you saw what, when we did the coal factory, we kind of just did this. And while that was a very open design, that looks great. But one other thing I like, we we'll go to the walls and we'll grab this one meter wall here. We can start with this. We put that up here like this. And then, then we can, then we can put on this. I think this is going to look cool. So it still gives us some protection from falling off, but we can still see over the edge, but it gives us a little bit more of a lip. We got this bit of a lip and then the bars. And if we jump down, I like how the the contrasting colors, the darker color and the light color, it kind of matches the pillar. But I still feel like this lip is very big and I want something more to contrast. So I think we're gonna try putting a pillar right here. Coming down. I mean, it's a good start. I think it looks pretty good. We we'll need to add some color. Let's try the steel beams out. I think that'd be interesting. These colored steel beams. So we put this here, and then we'll use the painted beams instead of the metal. So we can add some color. And you just kind of click on it around the default, and bring it down here. I kind of think that looks cool. It adds a little color, a little depth, a field basically. And then we can do the same thing. We can maybe run that back towards that way another one back towards that way which will connect and it adds a little color we can add some actual metal walls with color uh, back here so we got this nice little I guess brutalist <laughs> brutalism concrete uh, kind of fixture I think it looks cool I like the contrast we could color the walls a little bit like you know we could try the concrete doesn't color as brightly but somehow I don't like it here as much. So I kind of feel like the darker contrast is nice. Let's see. Not sure why that's so dark. My foundation, my concrete foundations always come in dark. I have another safe, they always come in light. I don't know why. I've tried changing it, the concrete structure doesn't seem to change. Foundation. No big deal though. And paint. Okay. And this is a nice start. Now we need actually to find some room up here to actually lay some foundations. And try to figure out where we want our actual manufacturing going on. I'm not sure what we're gonna put up here yet. We might do the walls up here. We could we could do this. 
But if we do this, it's going to be here. And we'll have some. We'll go up a couple. Maybe three. And depending on what we do, we might have pillars overhead. And we'll do the same sort of wall treatment where it kind of hangs down. Oh, I like how we can snap walls like this now. This is just for testing purposes, but we'll go down and take a look at it. We might try bringing the pillar down again. Just for funsies here. It kind of sticks out, right? No, it kind of right in the middle. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know if we're gonna how high we're gonna go from the center, but if we go higher, or if it's not here, it might be as we run a pillar over here. So we might end up having some sort of overlap, overlap here. We could do this again. And then we could, we could, without even the railings, we could, we could just repeat this process here. Get a little color in there. More windows. Do some different things. So that's an idea for a second floor. But we need some room for our factory. That's, this is about the extent of my design. These ideas I, I was playing around with for a couple of hours. That's why you see it come together kind of quick. I'm actually looking forward to your comments about it see what you think that said I'm thinking we're gonna come this way get a nice little L L shaped building nothing too crazy probably have a little bit more depth I'd like I'd like to maybe come out here and maybe go out there a little bit like this just to give it something so and then we can still extend we still have some room here before we get to the uh, poison rock but not much is that that guy's right there where is this guy here so we just need to play around with our smelters and we can either do the design where i normally do where i'll do one smelter or for foundation or we could just do it where we put down one and then we build more compact I like that so not sure yet Gonna take some playing with. That's eight. Look at that. With nine, we start on the middle, we end on the middle. That's not too bad. I think this will work here. We'll I'll have to play with this to see we'll adjustment. I'll show you where I want the final position. Let me play with it for a bit and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, I got an initial start design I think I'm liking. Not done, but here's what I started. I decided to use a pancake floor instead of making this a level floor. We could have brought, we can bring this pathway up one level if we decide to, but I decided to make this a pancake floor. We can bring our three sets of iron up right here, which is just inside this corner. So we can actually have it pretty and have uh, we can either do it here or here. And then we can have it show up in that window. So all the iron going up will be showing up inside that window. So we can come up here like this. And then what we'll do is we'll have a set of splitters going down the line here to fit perfectly in this little pancake floor all the way down. So I started by putting down the smelters. I kind of fit them on. I did our more compact design so we can fit nine into what, seven foundations. And then I would just put the conveyor hole right here. You can just attach it to the conveyor hole first. Turns onto the smelter. Next, boom. Now we can come straight up from there. And so I used the floor holes as my reference point, and I set down, just move this other way, put down a splitter, and you decided to try to put it on this foundation, which you could put one more over to be closer to this, but with the way our, come on boots, the way our smelter is, we should be able to put our exit floor hole right here, which we'll put another Wait, attach the floor hole. Oh, reverse. Okay. Attach the floor hole. Reverse it so that... Yeah, hit R. Reverse it so that we're going 
in first. Or you can attach to the bottom first and then come up here, but we do that. Now we're going straight in the floor hole. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now this floor hole matches up here. We should be able to do the same thing here. Beautiful, compact, tight. And so we'll have the mergers go all the way down this way. And we can run a Mark III belts. Yeah. So we have a Mark III belt coming in and a Mark III belt going out. And the great thing of running everything down, of course, this way is that our inputs are on the, at least facing this direction, our inputs are on that side and our outputs on this side. We have some room here so we can bring our output here, our second row and our third row, and then run them this way where we can send them over to our foundries. So let me finish attaching all of these and then we can do the next row. nice we can walk around it i could have easily put them on the floor and done the raised method i've done on prior videos but we're this is update five we got to use some of the fancy new stuff so i think we'll do this not sure what we'll do about this walkway yet or how we get up to it it might just be a nice decorative walkway we'll see not really gonna matter let's do the other two rows one's gonna be a, the same as this this one and the other one is gonna have one less smelter just bring the belts over in this case we'll just put one there this one can literally go straight down there's one two back to two we're so close together on everything it's easy to run perfect so our belts will come on there iron will come up now we'll have 780 iron ingots come out 
here. Now we're not quite sure where these are all gonna go yet, so just for now, I'm gonna bring them all together so we have an idea of where they're at. Now theoretically, we're gonna do about 20 foundries with our coal and everything along this area. So let's finish in filling up this top part. Let's just actually, you know what? We're just going to start here so we can kind of get an idea of what we want to do. Let's see what the foundries look like. We're going to have some room here. We're not going to have tons of room here. So I think our iron is right here. Yeah. So we could do. I'm thinking here. Let's see how we look here. Did that work? Oh, it does. And if it, it's a pretty close snap, but it fits in beautifully. Just no, no visible signs of actual clipping. So that's nice. And then we can easily do the same thing back here. Now, the only problem is that we have a single pancake floor. And if we think about it, we actually need more space than this. Because otherwise, we're going to be belt clipping, which is okay. On a pancake floor, belt clipping, technically, I would call it acceptable. But if you're like a purist, You'd need a little bit more room. You would need another four meters just so you could have multiple layers of splitters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Barely. Barely have enough room here. The other rest are fine. So, we are going to use four holes like this. And one here. It's going to look kind of like that. And reverse. Like that. Nice. So up here, I expanded the pancake floor by three meters. We could have done a full four meters, but we would have started in clipping into the ground here and had some grass come through at the edge may still need more room but we're gonna try this way this at the back if we do walls we can do something like it'll cover the ground floor so it's not too bad so the pancake layer gets completely hidden instead of having uh, a floor like underneath so if you had a, if we'd done down one more meter it would have looked like this we would have had the extra pancake floor showing. So at least with this type of pancake floor, we can hide the back, although no one's really going to be looking at the back. But it allows us to avoid clipping by the two different inputs. We can actually stack these. They'll, they'll fit on a single fit between the floors. No problem. So we can have one of these we're going to have to move those belts over, but we can have one of these um, down here. And then one will have to come down just like this. And that should... That matches up fine. And it's not in line, but... Well, you, you get the idea. It matches up. All right. Let's see if we can fit the rest of the foundries in. And then it's go time. Would you look at that? It's a bit of a cramped build. We still have walk space though. We still have walk space. No big deal. I have walk space over here, but you know what? This is going to work. Okay, we're going to end it there today. We made a good progress on our steel factory. Next time, we'll finish it up and we'll start talking about what our plans are for the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.